Now, in this video, we're going to be talking about management. So how do we go about managing our models to make low spending subscribers into high spending subscribers for our model? And of course, make the model more money as well as us. So management is the key to providing a successful OnlyFans management service to the models. Management alone can add an instant 10x return on investment for the model's account. So if you can bring on a model who's only doing two, three, 5K a month, and you can add 10x value instantly, that's gonna be really good for the client relationship, and it's gonna add a lot of money in your pocket straight away. Which is why it's important to master your management operations, which is exactly what we will show you how to do in this video. So in today's video, we're going to cover what is OnlyFans management, account fundamentals, pay-per-view optimization, chatting operation, and then neurolinguistic programming techniques that you can get started with today. So what is OnlyFans management? OnlyFans management consists of optimizing the model's OnlyFans account earnings. And we can leverage a few strategies to do exactly that. So OnlyFans management strategies, we have crafting the account, pay-per-view optimization, wall feed optimization, shout out for shout out optimization, chatting operation, uh, supplemental neurolinguistic programming techniques. So in this video, we're gonna cover just a few of those strategies uh, basically so you can get started in doing effective management straight away. So account fundamentals. A well-crafted OnlyFans account can set your model up for success. You need to consider a few attributes when crafting an account. So there's four things you need to consider. You need to, one, the model niche, so the model's niche makes a huge impact. Pick the right niche for the model based on her assets. Second, account profile picture and bio. Make sure she's got a cute profile picture and the bio is cute and short as well, which converts people when they see her OnlyFans account into buying and investing in the subscription. Third is the subscription price. We wanna make sure it's a good subscription price and we have some good subscription bundles along with it. So we're not you know, losing potential subscribers. And then four is the welcome message. So it's the message they receive when they join. You need to have a good welcome message sequence so you can start making money as soon as they join the model's OnlyFans account. Now, a key point to remember is that the model's niche is vital in account growth because some niches, the model will flourish and others, she will fail. Sometimes we had a model who hasn't gone anywhere and we just thought, you know what, we'll change and pivot niche into a little bit more of a niche OnlyFans account. And then before you know it, boom, she's putting in lots more subscribers and lots more money. So first, let's talk about pay-per-view optimization. Now, the majority of your model sales will come from pay-per-views. So it will come from the actual messages that they're buying. Now, in order to sell pay-per-views, you need to be curiosity invoking. Without that curiosity element, they're not going to purchase it. And also, you need a timer on the content availability for added urgency. Now, the single-handed best way of generating sales will be a result of the combination of those two variables that we just discussed. To, to peak curiosity, the first variable, uh, with your pay-per-views, you need to use a preview. So it can be a nice preview. You can put emojis over the particular explicit parts of that preview. That's going to cause them to have a little bit of curiosity around it. And then a well-crafted caption. So a caption which leaves them wondering about what that content is and thinking about that content in particular. So it needs to be well-crafted, curiosity invoking. Now, to add a sense of urgency to the pay-per-views, you can send a message alerting fans to the exclusivity of the content and when the removal of that content will take place. So by having that time on it, they're going to be thinking, crap, I need to buy this within the next 12 hours. All that content's going to go forever. Now, we have wall feed optimization. So the wall feed has two key purposes. One, to sexually tease subscribers, and the second one is a call to action for sales. So without a well-crafted wall feed, subscribers will end up turning inactive and have very limited lifetime value. So if you have lots of inactive subscribers in your model's account and they're not really make, you're not really making much money from them, then chances are your wall feed isn't optimized. Which is why it's your job as an agency to utilize the wall feed as the resource it is. Now, you need to upload both content types daily to the wall feed, so that's the sexual tease and the call to action for sales. As that will increase your sales and subscriber activity more than anything else in the account. Now, we have the chatting operation. So as an agency owner, you want to be working on the business rather than within the business. And the first step in achieving that is by outsourcing that chatting. So you can hire a chatter for $3 an hour plus 10% commission to be in your model's account 24 seven. That's how powerful it can be. You don't wanna be doing the chatting yourself when you can quite easily just outsource it. 
And all you need to do is give them the systems to generate sales in the account. So you're not just gonna employ a child and leave them that be, you're gonna basically have systems to make sure that they are successful when they're in the OnlyFans account. Now you can implement the following systems. So one is chat onboarding. When you get a child, you want them to be onboarded and put in an account as quick as possible. So they need to know exactly how the chatting operation works. Second is chatter training. You wanna make sure that your chatters are trained and qualified before going in an account so they don't make mistakes and that damages your client relationship with the model. So you need to make sure that they're put through a thorough chatter training process. Third is the chatter end of day reporting. At the end of each day, you wanna have a quick report of the accounts so you can see what accounts are doing well, what accounts are doing bad. And then if accounts are doing bad, you can take a look at them, take a look at the chatting that's going on within it. Four is the chatter sales tracking sheet. So you wanna make sure that the sales are basically on track. And as well as that, you can also pay out your commission by having that chatter sales tracking sheet fully set up. Fifth is the accountability scorecard. So if you have two chatters, you wanna make sure that you're keeping them accountable against each other. It's gonna foster a competitive environment and that competitiveness is always going to boost productivity. And six is pre-built sexton sets. So these are sexton sets that have been built already. So when a subscriber joins a model's account, the chatter already has a sexton storyline to push them through. So they send the message that's been crafted for the sexton set, they send content along with it, the subscriber buys that content and that feeds into the next piece of content and sell that. So when subscribers join, you just have lots of sexton sets, you can push them through instantly to start making money from it. Now, these systems will allow you to work less than 30 minutes a day managing the chatting operation across multiple accounts. If you're spending hours every single day managing the chatting operation, then it's a sign that it's not optimized. So you need to be implementing those systems that we talked about. Now, let's go over neurolinguistic programming techniques. So NLP stands for neurolinguistic programming, and it's a strategy to program the subscribers' minds to fall in love with the model because you're selling intimacy instead of content. You need to make sure that it's the intimacy that you're selling. Um, because if you're just firing content out, chances are they can just find content elsewhere for free, so there's no point in buying it. The reason they buy the content is because of the intimacy they have built with that model. And it's this love that converts subscribers into high spenders. So by far, through all our accounts, the highest spenders are the fans which are the most in love with the model. So you want to make sure that you're making the subscribers in love with the model. Now, here's a few neuro-linguistic programming strategies that you can leverage today. So the first is open loops. So an open loop, for example, is a cliffhanger. So having a cliffhanger in a TV show prompts you to watch that next show, prompts them to come back for more. An open loop is the exact same. And by having open loops, you basically keep your model on top of mind for the subscribers. They're gonna be thinking about that subscriber a lot more. And the brain conflates thinking with someone a lot more with what love is. So it's gonna conflate the two and it's gonna basically make your subscribers think that they're in love with this model. And an open loop can be as simple as saying, hey, I've got a question. The model sends that out to all the subscribers at like two in the morning, doesn't respond to them, to them until the next day. That's gonna be a way of creating an open loop. Second is distancing. So you wanna make sure that it seems like the model's organic and she's just not there all the time meshing people, just trying to make sales. So a good way of doing that is through distancing. So you can say, hey, sorry, I'm, I'm busy right now. I'll talk to you a little bit later. Creates a more organic feel within the model's account and that distancing creates love as well. People need time to fall in love uh, with their imagination and distancing gives them space and time to do that. And then third, is insinuations. So insinuating certain things. So it could be insinuating uh, your particular type is them insinuating the particular type of future that the model's looking for. Even though that's never gonna happen, you can insinuate a future and they're gonna fall in love with that insinuated future as well. So there are a few examples of neuro-linguistic programming strategies that you can implement today if you have a model's account. And as always, the stuff covered in this five-day OnlyFans management agency course is just the surface level knowledge. And uh, you can get started with building a money printer with this knowledge that we've just given you. However, if you want to fully achieve financial peace, then I implore you to book in a one-on-one -on -one call with, with me where we can get started with giving you the plug and play systems, the automations, the standard operating procedures that you need to fully automate the growth of your OnlyFans management agency. You don't need to figure this out all by yourself. You don't need to build all these systems by yourself. 
you can just leverage my service where we actually have these systems built and we can just basically help you implement these systems and we can help you start building your OnlyFans management agency on autopilot. So I'll speak to you guys again soon. This is the end of the five day OnlyFans management agency course. I implore you to book in a call with me you can also buy models as well so you can check out that you can buy a model if you're struggling to get your first model you can just buy them get started with their account by implementing these strategies and uh, you can also check out our testimonials as well in terms of you know people that we've taken from absolutely zero all the way to a hundred thousand a month with the only fans management agency so I hope this has been valuable to you guys. I hope that you got some good information. You have a little bit more clarity on what OnlyFans is. You have a little bit more clarity in terms of your mindset you need to have going into this, how to recruit models, how to promote models, and as well as that, how to manage models. So I'll speak to you guys again soon, and hopefully you guys book a call. See you in a bit.